Hello, good morning to everyone. Today I'm going to design a magenta interferometer on K layout. So first of all, I will, uh, I have opened this K layout canvas and select a layer floor, that is floor plan, and then go to box and draw a rectangular box. So this blue color floor plan. And after that, I click outside, then click on this box, press Q in order to just fix the coordinates of that floor plan, as well as deciding the size of our floor. So 605 micrometer width and 410 micrometer height. So this is the our floor plan. So after that, I will go to instance, select library, e-beam library. From there, I will select grating coupler. Grating coupler is a photonic device which take the take uh, input light as well as gives the output light from the laser and detector respectively. So I have taken three grating coupler, TE mode grating coupler. So just here and press uh, click here and press escape. Since these are not visible, then I will go to display, show full hierarchy. Now you are able to see three grating coupler aligned vertically at the 127 micrometer apart. After that, I will select component, EB, and from here, a Y branch at optimize at 1550 nanometer wavelength. I need only one Y branch and just putting somewhere, press escape, go to again, it starts, select broadband grating coupler, BDC, and say, okay and put here just in front of Y branch. So we will get two outputs, one input. After that, I will select a material that is called silicon, and then path in order to have a waveguide connection. So I will take the connection from here. So this is called wire current connection. Its width is 5.5 uh, micrometer or 500 nanometer. I double click here. Need not, to, need not to put so close. We will use here one, one command that is called path to waveguide W. And you see it has been connected automatically. I want to zoom in and you can see. Now I want to connect uh, two arms of magenta interferometer. So here I have connected from here, give a band, and this band should be greater than five micrometer to avoid banding loss. Double click, go to again, waveguide, path to waveguide, connected. Now again, another arms. I will select from here, go to up, and then arbitrarily taking, and I will connect here, double click, again, waveguide, part two waveguide, it is connected. Now this is your magenta interferometer. After that, I will collect, connect the output ports. This is, Output port, press F if you have problem, then go here and immediately I am able to connect this. Press capital W or this way. And again, second output, this is here. Go to zoom out and here. Just want to show you, connect again, so I pick EB 
connection is made. Now your bank center interferometer is made within five minutes. And now I will connect lasers and detector. Go to detector, go to this first laser. I will put here laser and then detector. Go again, skip here detector. So detector number one here, detector number two. And press Q, no, let us press escape, select detector, press Q, give the number second because first one is above. After that, we have to we have to label it automatic label. So I have given labeling for automatic measurement. Then I will just put at the end of this, press escape. And I think this is not necessary outside. Now our connection is ready. Let us check for functional layout. And it checks no layout error detected. Now we can go for the simulation. So this is our magnet interferometer. Design is complete. Now we want to check its functionality. So I will select here simulation and go to numerical interconnect simulation. So before that, I have to give the name. So I had given, uh, so MZI underscore two up, it is saved now. And now it is communicating with numerical interconnect, which has it built, uh, CML library, which reads out all this value, and then will show the outputs. Now I will stop sharing this one. I will move to another one where numerical interconnect will be open. So it's still not yet come. Let me see. I think, yeah, it has come. Now show me the sharing. So simulation completed. I hope you are able to see. So let us see if it's result, display result by default. Yeah, so these two curves, I think these lengths are very near. If we if length will be very less, so such kind of thing will be there. Let me see transmission curve. This is gate curve. Let us see here yeah, draw curve. Yeah, you can see now. I will remove this gate and see the absolute value of transmission curve. So this is maximum power is at 1550, around 1550. So this is how we have completed our simulation of Maxander interferometer design on our K layout. Thank you so much.